with meal prepping. my channel you guys seem to really like my four healthy breakfast recipes that I've posted like a month ago and I've seen all of your recreations and it makes my heart so happy so I thought I would bring you another food cooking recipe sort of video this video has everything to do with meal prepping I will admit I'm not totally on the meal prep train like I don't cook 25 different meals on a Sunday and then have it planned for the rest of the week. Sometimes I'll just cook big batches and it lasts us for like two days sort of thing. But today I'm dedicating a full video to meal prepping. This is something we've learned all about in my nutrition course and my lecturer has been amazing at giving me tips on how to do it and what to include and also how to make them really fun, especially if you are plant-based. I get questions constantly all the time asking, am I vegan? And the answer is no, I'm not a vegan, but I do eat a predominantly plant-based diet. I have more information in the description box answering that question for those who wanna know why. But because my diet is mainly whole foods, that's why I decided to keep these recipes plant-based and all of the ingredients are super accessible. So there are two recipes that I'm gonna be showing you today. One is a protein pesto penne and the other one is a butter chicken obviously without the butter and without the chicken so pretty much it's <sighs> what the heck do I call this I feel like everyone loves a good butter chicken you just can't go wrong but obviously we are justifying the f out of every single recipe here and they're still gonna be just as delicious but just with some more health benefits and some good swaps these are perfect for lunches as well so if you work maybe a nine-to-five job or you struggle to find time to maybe go and buy lunch or you don't want to have to make so much food the night before then meal prepping is a great option both of these meals ended up being around the $15 mark each for about four to five serves each. Super affordable. You would spend that amount in one single meal if you go out anyway, so you may as well get four to five meals out of it. So that is another plus to meal prepping is that it is super affordable, but I just ducked out to Kmart to buy some proper meal prepping containers, but I could only get my hands on the plastic ones, which kind of sucks on my behalf, but you know, we're gonna reuse them. We're not throwing them out, but the containers I got are these ones, but they have 10 containers with two sections. Honestly, I wish I didn't get the plastic ones. I wish I got the glass ones. I'd recommend the glass ones because they are more sustainable and they look a lot better. This is what we have to deal with for now. I was also gonna say, if you are new here, please do subscribe. We have a great time here. Yeah, it's just a good time. So be sure to hit subscribe and the bell. Don't forget the bell. Anyway, let's get started. I think, sorry, you're just waving this around like, hey guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel. We're gonna get started with the protein pesto first. So what you're gonna need for the protein pesto is some penne pasta. This one is from Aldi and it doesn't have eggs in it. Some textured vegetable protein. You can buy this from Woolworths. It's $3 for a full bag of it. This is what it looks like and it gives you that mince sort of consistency. The protein in this is also higher than that of chicken. So yeah, I really like using this one as an alternative to beef mince. You're going to need two, what are these, trees? Are these trees with basil? You're gonna need two of these. They're $3 each and these are the most expensive things in the entire thing that we've bought. You're also gonna to wanna to use some nutritional yeast as a parmesan substitute. This is the best stuff ever. If you haven't jumped on the nutritional yeast bandwagon, you have to. Great source of B vitamin 12 and also super high in protein. You're gonna need some pine nuts, some sun-dried tomatoes, 
tomatoes. These ones are from Aldi as well. This is optional, but I like using some paprika in the little mince mix that we're gonna make. One clove of garlic, no bigger than this, because if it is, then your breath's gonna smell like ass for like a week. Some olive oil and also some salt and pepper. The first thing that we are going to do is boil the kettle because I'm a lazy bitch and I don't like waiting for the stove to boil my water. I like boiling it in the kettle and then putting it on the stove. Science, I think that's faster? Question mark? I don't know. <laughs> Start by giving your basils a wash. I'm not the sort of person who really cares about the stalks and stuff. I don't know if other people like get rid of the stalks, but I just chop her up. I probably get to about here and then we leave it at that. Next, I'm just chopping up my garlic. Alrighty, so now we are grabbing our big blender cup and putting the garlic and the basil right on in here. Four pine nuts, I think. I'm going to do two tablespoons and two. If you do really like pine nuts though, then go nuts. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take half a cup of nutritional yeast, about that much. Then we're just gonna add in some salt and pepper. Then I'm going to put, hmm, how much olive oil? Let's measure it out for your sake. We got a one, we got a two, we got a three, uh, maybe four. I always just eyeball it. And you can always adjust the amount. Sorry about all these pots and pans. So just chuck the lid on that one. My blender is also falling apart. If you guys have any blender recommendations, please let me know. I do want to get a Nutribullet or something a little bit more profesh, so let me know. And on the blender. I reckon put a dash of water in here as well. Perfection. So this one, just chuck it to the side. What we wanna do is add, I'm gonna go two cups of veggie protein in here. And then once the water has finished boiling, we'll fill up the water to the same level as the veggie protein so it can soak it up and expand to its size. And again, once the water has finished boiling, we can cook our penne pasta. So you'll need a big ass pot for this. Our veggie protein, we're gonna cook with the sun-dried tomatoes and the paprika. Okay, please don't hate me, but I forgot to tell you an ingredient for the next step, and that is coconut aminos, or if you have it, tamari. This just adds a little bit of something something to our little meat. It's not meat, this is a vegan video. We're gonna put in our boiling water. This is where you wanna fill it up to, okay? In the meantime, let's get our pasta on and just chuck in as much as you want. I'm gonna do the whole packet, which is like 500 grams, I think. See, and because she's already boiling, I can literally go like this. Amazing, amazing. Let's get on to this little vegetable protein mix though. What we're gonna need is a dash of this, dried tomatoes, sun dried tomato? Yeah, amazing, and that's it. But we are gonna drain all the oil out of here as well because it is ridiculous how much is in there. See, that literally took two minutes to absorb all of the water and it is good to go. You definitely don't need more than two cups though because look how much that makes. As if that doesn't just look like mince, that is crazy. Let's chuck a dash of aminos in there. That's probably about one tablespoon, I would say. I'm just going to drain out all this disgusting oil. Literally look at that. Gross. And then literally just do that. Chuck it in and pop a sprinkle of paprika in there and then just mix it through, you know? Give her a good mixer -o. Probably actually turn this to a medium heat. If you're feeling crazy, you can add a sprinkle of nutty yeast on top. 
because who doesn't love nutritional yeast is my question. Alrighty, I'll let that cook for just a moment. I'm going to wash the containers as well. Alright, so I've got everything ready to go. I've just strained the penne pasta. We've got our sun-dried vegetable protein ready and also our pesto is good to go. So I've just lined up five containers. <laughs> containers full of the protein pesto. Okay guys, we are moving on to recipe number two now. It's been a few hours since I made the last one because here's me like in the meantime trying to edit as I go because I want this video to be out and scheduled before Byron Bay, okay? So now we're gonna make a butter chicken without the butter and the chicken. We're gonna need some dairy-free butter of your choice. I use Nutalex, this is my favorite. I've had Nutalex literally since I was a fetus probably, so this is the stuff. You're going to want one onion. Don't. Onion. This is like a medium size. I've got one head of broccoli, 450 grams of firm tofu, about 100 grams of sliced mushrooms, two carrots, this much baby spinach, I think it's like half of the packet. So like maybe two or three handfuls of baby spinach. If you have more spinach, go for it. The more spinach, the better. And then we're also going to be using some quinoa. You can use brown rice, it's so up to you. I just prefer quinoa because it's such a good source of protein as well. I think in meal prepping, you know, I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone, good grains and also great protein, so it just works. Also going to need two cans of light coconut cream, coconut milk, honestly, whichever you prefer use that and then also I use this butter chicken spice mix from Woolworths but you don't have to because the ingredients are just onion, veggie oil, tomato, garlic, coriander, sugar, ginger, salt, chili powder, turmeric and that is it. So if you have those ingredients and not this, you can totally make your own. It's probably the most expensive ingredient. It was like $4 out of everything. So just depends if you want to spend $4 or not. I do because this tastes like that traditional butter chicken and I love it. First things first, similar to the last recipe, I'm going to boil the kettle. Two cups of quinoa, is that too much? No. Two cups of quinoa, so that means four cups of water. I'm just gonna fill this up again. And firstly, we are going to be chopping up the onion. Chop it up however you want. I do it quite finely. And then chopping up the tofu into, I guess like chicken size pieces. So like a bite size usually. And then they go on this big wok together. I use the wok because it is ginormous. Are you kidding me? And for meal prepping, I need something that is going to be humongous. So in some of the prepped meals, I'm going to also cook up some snow peas for Geordie. I am allergic to legumes, so I can't have these, but at least he can, and they are gonna go in that little section of the meal prepping thing. You know what I mean? And if you can have beans, I'd highly recommend using them. Legumes are amazing. If you can have chickpeas, you can add chickpeas to this mix, but in reality, I can't. <laughs> Chickpeas, snow peas, they are all amazing for this recipe. If you wanna add them in, absolutely go wild. Dash of olive oil, chopping up the onion and the tofu, and then that is going on. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. I'm actually no crying. Loves me Oh my god, why are onions so spicy? Look, I know I said I'd put olive oil in there, I lie. I put a little bit of butter in there, and then the onion. I'm just taking the piss. And then the tofu. So, little bit 
it's of Natalex. Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us. to chop up these carrots, chop up the broccoli. The mushrooms can just go straight in if they're already sliced. chopped up the snow peas they are just in the microwave just cooking away the quinoa is almost ready this is busy boiling away which is amazing I'm just gonna chuck in the rest of the spinach as I said before go crazy with the spinach you can never have too much something I wanted to recommend also if you wanted to zhuzh up your quinoa a little bit of vegetable stock into the water or if you just use like a, um, a vegetable stock cube or something like that that's so fine it just gives it a little bit of extra flavor but now I'm gonna be putting in the spice mix and I'll show you what it looks like it's literally just this so it's not like one of those pre-made sauces it's just the spice so that's why I have the coconut milk as well but Oh, I wish you could smell it. It just smells absolutely amazing. this video and got some inspo for your next meal prep please do let me know if you do make any of the recipes tag me or send me a photo on Instagram I would love to see your recreations I'm just gonna sit down and actually have the little butter chicken for dinner tonight so that's gonna be really yum if you liked this video please go down and give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. But my name is Jess, I make new videos every three days, so I will see you in three days.